You can set some parameters on board to customize your device. To enter the onboard programmer, proceed as follows. Verify that the RNET system is switched off. Press S3, S4 and S5 simultaneously. While you hold them pressed, switch the squid control on with S1. Keep S3, S4 and S5 pressed while you wait for the beep. This takes about 5 seconds. Release all buttons within 2 seconds after the beep. You are now in onboard programming mode. With the second and the third button, you change the parameters. The LED lights indicate the number of the parameter. With the fourth and fifth button, you change the value of the parameter. Again, the LED lights here indicate the value. After changing the parameters, press the sixth button to save the changes. All LEDs of the speed battery gauge will flash green. Turn the device on and off again. The new parameters will be active. The first parameter is the right throttle. You can change the default direction from forward to reverse, or you can even say none. So in that case, the throttle has no action. You can do the same for the left throttle in the second parameter, but there the default direction is reverse. With the third parameter, you can set your actuator keypad up to control 10 instead of five axes. You change the value from single to toggle. Up is axis one, up or down. Down is axis two, up or down, and so on. The fourth and fifth parameter are only useful if you want to use the squid control as universal joystick and not as a tendon input device type. Let me explain. If the scoot control is set as input device type attendant, then the scoot control will start up in the last used profile. When you press the sixth button for more than two seconds, you will go straight to profile eight, the attendant profile. You have no access to the modes. When you press S6 again for longer than two seconds, you go back to the other profile and give the control back to the person in the chair. But you can also set the scoot control in RNET as input device type universal and allow grab to yes. The scoot control will also start up in the last used profile. Now, this is profile one. When you press the sixth button for more than two seconds, you will scroll through the profiles. So now I'm in profile eight. If you set profile button to profile modes, you will also be able to scroll through the modes. So now I'm in the seating positions. You will be able to drive in every profile and you can change the seating positions with the scoot control. You can scroll through the different actuators by pressing the handlebar gently. You stop at the desired actuator and you move it by pushing the left or right throttle. Back to the onboard programming then. With parameter 4, you can overrule the RNET parameter profile button. By default, the scoot control follows the RNET setting. But you can also say locally here that you only want to access the profiles or that you want access to the modes as well, even though it is not set like this in the RNET programmer. If you want to use the scoot control as universal joystick, then it is very important to change the value of the fifth parameter as well. It is very important that you change the settings both in the scoot control on board and in RNET. Otherwise, the scoot control will not function properly.